Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us today. Today, we're going to talk about running Anthos on Bad Matter at the Edge with Major League Baseball. My name is Amar Abdurazik. I'm a product manager at Google Cloud as part of the Anthos team, and I'm here with my friend Chris Amy from Major League Baseball. Hi, Amir. Thanks for having me on today. Now, I run the team at MLB that covers off all the infrastructure for our fan-facing services, which run on Anthos and at Google Cloud. I look forward to showing you what we've got to offer. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. So the first question is, uh, why the edge? And why are we talking about the edge? So uh, customers are demanding a more connected experience. And this is happening across different sectors, whether it's retail, connected factories, healthcare, and even gaming. What this means is enterprises are need to deploy applications in many places, whether from the left you're looking at something at the very far edge, hundreds of thousands of sites, very low latency, very small footprint. And some of the use cases of that is real-time control, industrial security, real-time. Or you get something like the near edge where you have less sites, probably less uh, sensitivity on the latency, and you're looking at something like video and image analysis and processing. Or you go more to looking at traditional data center, core, or cloud. And the challenge is how do you deploy across all of these? And this is hard because as you're looking to deploy across all of these applications, you're looking at migrating applications, uh, the developers uh, are deploying applications differently. Every cloud or every site is different. You need to deploy the application uh, multiple times. Uh, you can move everything to every location. So it is just hard to uh, try to manage across all of these infrastructure. And the, the good news is there is actually a perfect storm of opportunity about some of the technologies happening in the market that have been happening over the last couple of months. So the first one, of course, is 5G. Uh, there was a lot of connectivity options that are out there that is improving connectivity, latency, and bandwidth for those edge scenarios. The second one is containers. Uh, you have a portable application form factor that allows you to deploy across different environments with ease. And finally, there is the open source, the continuous innovation with no vendor lock-in, uh, led by Kubernetes and many other technologies that are out there in the markets. So this presents a great opportunity to use all of these uh, new innovations and leverage your existing data and deliver your applications to where you want. So we're going to have a little bit of how can Anthos help you with this problem. So Anthos is our platform for application modernization. It allows you to run on Google Cloud, on-premise, on other cloud providers, or at the edge. And the idea is Anthos gives you uh, managed operation, the service management part, and the marketplace and commerce uh, so that you can even add more applications from third-party providers. And Anthos gives you multiple deployment options from uh, cloud platform, as we discussed, vSphere, AWS. You can even bring your own Kubernetes, uh, or you can deploy it on bare metal, edge scenarios, and Azure uh, that is coming soon. So across all of these options, Anthos provides you the deployment flexibility to deploy application anywhere and have the consistency of your operational workflow and your developer workflow. So we're going to talk a little bit about Anthos on bare metal, uh, technical overview, uh, which is our newest offering that we announced recently. So uh, the idea for Anthos on bare metal is you can run Anthos on a customer provided operating system. In this scenario, you can install Anthos where the customer deploys and manages the OS lifecycle. You have pre-flight checks to validate the minimum system requirements, and then you have an idempotent and declarative installer for all Anthos components. Where you can run it from a compute capacity, you can deploy this on a physical or a virtual infrastructure. Uh, we expect most of our customers to run this on physical server, but running on your choice of virtual infrastructure is also possible. Uh, we intend to support RELS and to us in Ubuntu. And from a networking standpoint, L3 connectivity between the nodes is required, and we need L2 between the load balancing nodes, but Google provides an overlay networking L4 and L7 load balancing. From a storage, uh, you can integrate with your storage infrastructure using CSI. Upgrade will be in place. And from an observability standpoint, of course, we have out of the box stack driver or now cloud monitoring metrics and logs, or you can integrate with the customer provided observable tool if you want. We're also considering VM lifecycle options uh, with technologies like Kubeberg and many others. So this provides you a very flexible stack where you can deploy on your existing infrastructure and easily run application using Anthos. So in terms of managing Anthos at the edge, some of the technologies that we are and the capabilities that we have makes it very easy to do so. So we're going to cover some of those. 
So the first one is the standardized architecture. Again, you have the flexibility to deploy on VMware, deploy on your favorite operating system. So uh, this gives you tremendous flexibility to deploy where you are and not have to retrofit your existing infrastructure. In fact, you can leverage your existing infrastructure to meet your current and needs, and you can even modernize it in place without impacting the apps. So that's the first uh, piece of the uh, application uh, modernization managing of the edge. The second is managing the entire fleet. Again, one of the challenges that I've seen a lot of customers is they have thousands of stores, thousands of locations. So managing across all of these locations is very hard and having a cloud-based monitoring solution and management solution helps you there. So one of the technologies is the single pane of glass to have uh, for your clusters and workloads. You can manage the cluster from a single cloud-based web consoles. You have visibility for your entire fleet, no matter where they are, and you can deploy workloads from a private registry or from a GCP marketplace. All of this from a console or a centralized API through Google Cloud. So this gives you great flexibility and single point to manage and deploy all your cluster. The second part is centralized logging and monitoring. As you look across all of these locations, you need to understand what's up, what's not. You need to diagnose. Sending a technician can sometimes be a very costly and very time consuming and have an impact to the business if you have a store that is down. Uh, centralized logging and monitoring helps you with that by aligning all of the data and pushing it to Stackdriver or now cloud monitoring. And then you can see what's happening, error rates, uh, performance, uh, you can even manage the life cycle of those uh, locations uh, and define SLO and monitoring uh, for your SRE codes and signals. So that's from a, from a operations and then that gives you kind of the fleet wide policy management again to do this from a, a kubectl. You can also use GitOps. Uh, so from a programmatic kind of uh, SRE kind of standpoint, uh, you can use DevOps technologies. You can have your single team deploy for example, as a canonical version of the app, one place, and it gets replicated across all of your stores in a matter of seconds. So that also gives you a lot of flexibility of how to deploy apps uh, across the fleet. So we want to talk about edge deployment models here. And one of the uh, interesting uh, innovations that we are introducing to the market as Google is, uh, as a customer, you don't have to manage or deploy all the apps. So it gives you different options to do so. So uh, the first part is uh, worth mentioning is Google's global network. And this is something that is very unique to Google, not just by our data centers, but our connectivity to region pops and networks that you've used over the years for search, for YouTube, for Stadia and gaming. So these are a combination of CDN, edge point presence, dedicated interconnect, and even cloud regions that gives you a lot of flexibility in that. So from that, you have 24 regions, we have 144 edge pops and thousands of edge nodes in telecom networks. But that's the part that we are starting to have innovation for it. As you integrate with existing telecom partners, that gives you a lot of options to expand our network even further uh, in this partnership and gives you even closer points of presence across the globe. So this gives us a flexible operation model uh, for the edge. So we have three options that will make your life a lot easier as a customer to deploy the edge. The first one is a Google managed edge. In this case, you are using, leveraging Google's capability, Google's infrastructure, uh, for example, like uh, edge caching and service nodes and using edge point of presence uh, on Google Cloud, either core region zones or edge regions and zones. So that's the first option. The second option is telco edge, leveraging our existing partnership with the telcos and using their small central office presence and large central office presence to deploy this, for example, so you don't even have to have it on the store. You can have uh, using a combination of 5G and then have your equipment uh, or actually the telcos equipment running your application. Uh, this gives you the ability to deploy, for example, next to your store. So you don't have to have the presence in the store itself, but actually have something that is very close and very connected. And finally, of course, the customer edge, this classical customer edge scenario where you are deploying on your existing branch office or your existing kind of retail location. And that gives you uh, the traditional presence that you uh, have, but also gives you another option. So between the three options, 
that gives you a lot of uh, flexibility on designing your own infrastructure to meet your needs and the appropriate operational model for your business. Uh, for a sample edge architecture and how the edge is evolving, uh, this is, for example, a real-time inventory management and analytics architecture. So if you build this architecture on just on a cloud-only kind of setup, this is how it would look like. When you have the point of sale inventory and RFID systems in the store, but then you have a lot of capabilities in a cloud provider like Google Cloud Platform using technologies like cloud pops up aggregation analytics and uh, video APIs. But we also have an, this, uh, what Anthos gives you is a new architecture where you can move in some of those capabilities to in store again, to make it closer to where you are so that you can leverage your platform of your choice on the services that you need, but still have the latency and the sensitivity. So uh, again, flexibility in the architecture of how you build your applications gives you a lot of options on how you want to run your business. So in terms of innovation, uh, our goal is to help you with our industry specific solution from retail, healthcare, financial services, media and telco, manufacturing and public sector. So across all of these, there are many solutions that are built out there, best practices and expertise within Google Cloud that we can leverage and help you to build your own industry specific solution. So next, I would like to introduce a use case of using Anthos at the edge with Major League Baseball. Thanks, Amir. Thanks for having me here. So I thought what better way to start this whole section of the presentation off than let's go through what an actual end user experience is like. So what we're seeing here is a product that we call Game Day. You know, you go to MLB.com, you click on a game, you can see a sort of virtual experience in a game here. And what we're seeing is play-by-play -play data. We're seeing pitches and how the pitches were thrown, what the velocity was, where they were in the strike zone. Then we get into like what actual plays happened, you know, did a, did a, did a runner steal? Was there a pickoff attempt? Was there a home run hit? And even that, we, you know, we're loading videos of, you know, key parts of the game straight into the feed. Uh, and so how does this all come together? Uh, we start off with our new stack cast tracking system that we have for 2020. This is a completely new system that we've developed and deployed uh, and uses machine vision with a whole stack of cameras that you know pick up velocity, uh, you know spin rate of the ball, where players are, what their poses are, and you know what's happening in the game. So what we're seeing here is a picture from the New York Yankees. This is you know, a video that we took last year um, of them actually throwing. You can see how the ball, you know, we pick up the trajectory, we can you know put it back in time to work out where it came from and where it's going to be going through. So. How does this all work? Well, as you know, in baseball, it all starts with the pitcher throwing a pitch. So we kick it off. We have an on-field play that happens. You know, there's someone in the stadium or remote who you know, clicks for the start of the play and they complete the play once it's finished. Um, our tracking system is going to absorb all the data and all the events that are happening, you know, throughout that play. We aggregate it and we process it in stadium on Anthos. So we collect all of that data, we process it, we set up a play, and then we ship it up to Google Cloud or potentially in stadium if we have other subscribers that need that information, you know, for low latency reasons in stadium. So what's, where, where do we come from? What do we do? So, you know, in 2019, we had an aging hardware stack in stadium. Uh, you know, you can see that on the right, that's what sort of the end result looks like. But we had this aging hardware, we are bringing a new tracking uh, solution coming in um, and we needed a way to simplify, modernize, and bring consistency to our on-premise or in-stadium environment to, you know, to what we run in the cloud. Um, and you know, we had to have something that would run there, be stable, and enable the, the throughput and the latency requirements that we have in stadium. So what does our environment look like? You know, last year we basically had you know, one virtual machine for every application we ran in the stadium. It had some local storage attached to it. We packaged our apps, you know, with RPMs. You know, we had no real automatic failover. You know, we had to run two copies of everything because if we lost one, we had no way to like automatically stand it up and run it on a second location or anything else. And you know, if we had a burst in the stadium, we had to process a whole lot of data. You know, potentially we were going to a resend of a whole lot of data from a game that happened in the past and we want to get it processed really quickly, we had no way to flexibility to scale up, scale down as we needed. So we come into 2020, what do we do? 
Uh, we took Anthos on-prem, you know, running on top of VMware. Uh, we made the decision that we saw Anthos as this, you know, standardization for containers for all of our applications, regardless of where we ran them, whether that's in Google Cloud, whether that's on-prem or even in our stadiums. We had this key requirement for automatic failover for our processing or worker nodes. Uh, and we needed our applications to be able to horizontally scale in the stadium, just like they would scale, you know, if we're running on GKE in the cloud. So our architecture, you know, it's probably a little bit different from your standard Anthos on-prem architecture. Uh, we have our admin workstation that runs inside GCP in the cloud. Uh, and then for every ballpark, I've, you know, we've got two here displayed, you know, the Rockies and the Marlins. You know, we don't have uh, shared storage in the park. We basically have two processing nodes uh, that we run, you know, they run VMware. Uh, and then on top of that, they have, you know, local storage. And we run the Seesaw load balancer set up uh, for each cluster. So we have each node, it's its own cluster. It has its own admin cluster, the control planes, et cetera. And then inside that actual, you know, physical hardware machine, we have the various worker nodes we need. And in our case, we run, you know, three different worker nodes. So what's our end user interaction, you know? We do all this processing in Stadium on Anthos. Where does that go? Uh, we'll ship it to in Stadium experiences. So that could be up on the scoreboard you'll see. You know, you see the, the score change or you see you know, pitch speed or what type of pitch it was. You know, we offload it to our broadcast partners like watching on TV and you know, you see the, the pitch trajectory or where the home run was hit, et cetera. Um, we also then take that data and we ship it up to Google Cloud where you get experience from our digital properties and products. That's what we started this whole session off with was game day, which is one of those digital properties or products. We also do advanced data analytics on all of this. Um, and we do AI and ML to work out what's going to be the new metric that we're going to see come out of baseball in 2020 or 2021. So where do we go to from here? Um, you know, I covered off just before you know, what we do right now on the web. And what we've got loaded up here is, you know, a, a, a rendering of an actual play that occurred, you know, virtually, you know, it's concepts around what could we do with this data um, that we haven't ever thought of. And this is where we see Anthos as a key for our go forward with all of our data that we're shipping from the park. So with that, I'd like to throw it back to Amira. Uh, really great to, have, to be here today and really excited to see what Anthos can offer. Thank you very much, Chris. That was a very cool use case. And as you've seen, it demonstrated the power of Anthos. Um, MLB team had a virtualized infrastructure at the edge. They deploy it. It's the same infrastructure that they deploy on the cloud and at the same infrastructure as they migrate to bare metal. So our goal with Anthos is to bring the same level of flexibility of and the power of Google Cloud to the edge with an open application platform, flexible deployment option, and a strong ecosystem. So uh, I encourage you all to try Anthos on GCP. You can see this link here. The link has a lot of tutorials, a lot to demonstrate and try a lot of the capabilities of Anthos. And um, at the end, I just want to thank you all for giving us the time today. We know it's a crazy world out there. So we really appreciate you taking the time to learn about our technologies and product. And we look forward to partner and work with you. Thank you.